I'll, uh, I'll first, I'll first say, uh, you know, how proud I am of these guys. Um, I know I've touched on it in, uh, in every, every press conference so far, but I can even be a little more candid now. Um, to lose five of six to end the season, and um, there was there was a leg- legitimate disconnect uh, amongst the group. And as I, as I alluded to in the first uh, in the first press conference when we won our first game, uh, it's, it, it started with me. I was I was being too negative, um, and so I switched that up. But they embraced one another. They put their egos aside. Um, they all stuck together. They found a common. They you know came together for a common goal, and, and they loved one another. They went back to who they are as human beings. Uh, adversity can, can create, you know, divide. Um, and what we did to lose five of six, install a new offense in seven days, um, and then to win two, get to the Sweet 16 for, you know, I believe the first time since 1999 for Lander. To do that, I, I'm telling you, I've never been a part of it before. It's unprecedented. Um, I, I could not be more proud of these guys. Um, man, am I going to miss? Man, am I going to miss uh, practice? I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss practice with these guys. I'm going to miss coaching them on a on a daily basis. Uh, I'm really, really going to miss those seniors. I'm really going to miss those seniors, and uh, I'm just going to miss the day to day grind. I'm going to miss, you know, how much they annoy me. How much. They, they make me happy, how much I annoy them, how much hopefully I make them happy as well. I'm, I'm going to miss all of it, the day-to-day, ba- the day-to-day basis, the day-to-day grind. But what we just did was unprecedented, and I'm, I'm, I'm super proud of these guys. I love each and every one of them. Um, they represented this institution in a wonderful fashion. And uh, one game, one game, uh, anybody can win. Congratulations to North Georgia. Heck of, heck of a job, phenomenal players, phenomenal coaching staff. Um, they run an A1 tournament as well. I um, was happy to be a part of it. Congratulations to them. Um, and, and they absolutely deserve the win today, no question. Mm. Just want to touch on that final minute, you know, with a foul, with a three-point shot that sent them to the line for three that could have possibly tied it. Was there any different strategy outside of, you know, I know you wanted that three-pointer. I thought you were going to go two for one, you know, but you went for the three. Was there anything that you wanted to change or you, that was set? Are you referring to we were down four and then, down, co- yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we ran a play that had two options. Um, whether it could be for a three or a turn the corner for a lay, how it, how it played out. Um, uh, we ended up getting a decent, uh, you know, not the greatest look, but a uh, heady play by Nigel, um, selling the foul. I thought he definitely got fouled. And then, you know, down four, obviously uh, the initial plan was to make all three and foul. Um, and give me, give me Nigel Colvin every day of the week and twice on Sunday to shoot those free throws, no question. Um, that's our captain. That's our leader. He's gritty. Made big steals, big plays. Um, so yeah, when he, he, I think he made the first, missed the second, or maybe it was, yeah, made the first, missed the second. At that point, I'm thinking, you know, it's a three-point game. If we make and foul, long ball, they're a little more athletic on the long ball potentially. One timeout, I, it, it was, you know, I, I decided to go for the miss, down three with one one shot left, and um, told Nigel, you got to do it, you got to do it, you know, it's got to be a liner. Um, once again, because of their, you know, with Anadi, with Logist out, once again, because of their just superior size um, and that moment, uh, I told him it needs to be a liner, and we worked on something we worked on before to X out and try to get the board. Unfortunately, it grazed the rim on the bottom side and went out of bounds. We also knew they were going to go for a long ball. Um, after that, we thought it was going to be the champion. Pretty smart to go to Charles on the you know, 6'5", 5'11", advantage. I was hoping Billups maybe undersold, underthrew it a little bit, and Tommy could get a steal. But you know, Charles got it, uh, and the rest is history, right? Yeah. Uh, one of the other things that you know a lot of people don't understand 
Yeah, um, yeah. Peach Belt's there's there's no question it's the best conference in the region. I don't think that's debatable, top to bottom. Um, Dan and I, uh, head coach of North Georgia, you know, we said it. Aiken could easily just be in the situation as well. They weren't though. Um, yeah, Peach Belt got us ready for it. Peach Belt got us ready for it, but um, Peach Belt got North Georgia ready for it too. But what, I, what got North Georgia and Lander ready for it was the human beings inside the program. Um, all the way from the administration top down. That's that's what that's that's why Lander and North Georgia were represented here. Um, I believe more than anything, Peach Belt's a heck heck of a league. Um, but I think no question, the two best teams in the Peach Belt this year were playing for the championship game. And um, the old adage, it's it's hard to beat it's hard to beat somebody three times, and, and it is. Um, but I, I still believe more so that every day is its own separate entity. And they won the basketball game today. Um, they were the more, they were absolutely the more gritty team, the tougher team. Um, I think the, our first round victory, we got every 50-50 ball versus LMU. Um, Emmanuel was a little bit more split. It wasn't, a, wasn't as uh, physical of a game as the first one and this one. But North Georgia got every 50-50 ball. They got every 50-50 ball. Um, I thought when Champion f- got those two fouls, I thought um, the unsung heroes were Colin Turner and um, Case Roach, to be honest. I thought they just made huge plays in the first half. And, um, uh, yeah, so that's what it is. If, if, as long as we keep, as long as we keep bringing in uh, high character individuals that can ball and are willing to work and they want to be, you know, holistic human beings that care about more than basketball and um, want to be good people and good students, um, the sky's the limit. You know what I mean? The sky's the limit. I, um, I believe we can continue to improve. I believe we can get better. Um, but for me, you know, you know, you know me, Graham. I don't, I don't look very far into the future, man. My mind is right now solely on this moment, and uh, my heart is, is here for the kids. Uh, I know the future is bright. I will say that, no question. We saw the crowd that Georgia had against Catawba. You knew it was going to be a bigger one against you guys in the championship. Right. You team going into face the crowd. Man, I, I, I just try to tell them, you know, it's just, it's just human beings here to watch a basketball game that are making noises, words that create noises. That's really all it is. Like, don't tweak, don't worry. Um, but credit to their, their crowd, there's no question. Um, at times it affected our calls. Um, there were some moments of discombobulation in the first half um, due to that, and um, heck of a crowd, heck of a crowd for sure. I thought we settled in, though, and handled it fine. Um, but no, it, it had an impact on the game, no question. Coach, why is it that every time you and North Georgia face each other, no matter who wins, it's never an easy Except when they came to Lander, we beat them by 18. Um, uh, nah, man, it's it's two two teams with a lot of talent. Two teams, you know, that I that I like to think have good coaches. Um, you know, gritty, tough individuals that can play, that have skill and toughness. You know what I mean? So two good basketball teams uh, with everything that it takes to be successful. And yeah, it's, we knew it was gonna be a dog fight. You know what I mean? I knew it was gonna be. Probably a plus plus or minus five type deal for sure. That's what we that's what we felt. Um, two good programs going at it, you know, at the at the top of the southeast region, and it's a testament to the individuals involved, just like anything else, right? What will you remember most about this season? Uh, I'm I'm gonna remember the these this run that we just made after it looked like we were dead in the water. Um, you know, you can feel it sometimes when you talk to coaches in the region. You can feel it. Um, just the, the passive 
hey, it's been good, you know, it's been good, that type of as if it's past tense and it's over. And we just, because of the big wins early and the we made it here and now we're here, congratulations on a good season. That was some of the conversations I had as if it was dead in the water. And um, our guys, won, like I said, I'll remember the guys and I'll remember how they came together. Um, first of all, I remember how they started and how we, you know, were rolling, rolling, rolling. It was awesome. And then, I mean, I'm... It, it, the adversity, you know, is is a sign of adversity. Is will will we'll show you a man's character, right? And um, I'll just they came together like men. I'll I'll just I'll never forget it. I'm, I think it's that week, you know. what I mean, to really put it into one specific. I think it's that week of practice after we lost to two days off. I remember sitting in my home and thinking, what do I got to do? How can I be better? And then Saturday practice was good. Sunday was better, and then Monday was phenomenal. And like you could just feel it. Like okay, I remember talking to my staff. I was like, "We're gonna make a run. We're gonna make a run." And um, I'll just that week, you know, from Saturday to Friday, honestly, practicing prior to the NCAA tournament is probably the main thing I'll remember. Along with just these goofy dudes, man. They're wonderful people. They're goofy dudes. They're fun guys. They're really, really smart human beings, and they're kind, caring, wonderful individuals. And and I'll just remember all of them. You know, man. I remember all of them from how they acted. And, and, how much they care for one another and the good and the bad. It's, it's a year I'll never forget. There's no question about that. Coach, congrats on a great season. All right, thanks, man.